Hey guys, Tay here, back with another game review. Today we're checking out a free-to-play post-apocalyptic survival game called Wasteland Survival. If you're into slaying zombies, collecting resources, and building crazy weaponry, then this game is for you. With that being said, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Like I said, Wasteland Survival is a free-to-play post-apocalyptic survival game available right now on Steam. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. If you like what you see, you can head over there and pick this game up. The system requirements for this game are pretty minimal, so most people should be able to run this one. Alright, let's talk about the game for a little bit. If you've played any other zombie survival games, this one should feel pretty familiar to you. There are your basic resources like wood, stone, and iron, which you'll use to craft weapons and tools like baseball bats, axes, and pickaxes. Along with the basic resources that you can find pretty much anywhere, there are a few that are a bit harder to come by, such as gasoline, which you'll need to power that sweet motorcycle chilling in your garage, and ammunition, which for some reason, your guns can only be reloaded at the weapon benches, as if you're hand loading each of the bullets individually themselves. Which, I mean, I kinda thought that was a little bit strange, but hey, whatever. As you progress through the game and hunt down resources and gain levels, you'll unlock different workbenches which allow you to gain access to better weapons, armor, and even upgrade your house as you see fit. You'll get to add spikes around your walls, turrets, and even a guard dog to keep the massive hordes of zombies off your welcome mat. I really think this game has a lot going for it, from needing to maintain hunger and thirst and even your stinkiness levels. Yes, you need to shower or the zombies will smell your stinky ass coming and tear you to pieces all the way to the amount of resources and craftable items. This game offers a lot of stuff to do in terms of crafting and resource gathering. Fortunately, there's an auto gather button, so you can just hit that and walk away if you feel confident with your loadout or if you've cleared out all the zombies beforehand. I really wouldn't recommend hitting the button and then not paying attention to the game. The zombies tend to kill you very quickly when you're not looking at the screen. It's like they know when you've walked away to grab a drink or something, that's always when I die anyway. So, like I said, it does have a lot going for it, and it was quite a bit of fun, but, and it's a big but, it's a mobile game. And it is free, however, they do encourage you a lot to spend money. The game runs on real time, going anywhere requires real time, and if you die, you have exactly 10 minutes to get back to your body, or you lose everything that you were carrying. Now, you do have 6 run charges that allow you to get anywhere in a matter of seconds. You can either wait 20 minutes and you'll gain one charge back, or you can spend money to get more of those charges to fast track your progress. And this money thing seems to be a common theme in this game. Everything, and I mean everything, runs on gold coins. You can buy stuff, fast track, skip timers, or even instantly unlock stuff with those coins. Now just because everything can be done with money doesn't mean it has to. You can play this entirely for free, just using all the free stuff you get from the unlocks and only using your run charges as they resupply. Remembering to always save one run charge just in case you die. That's what I've done so far and I haven't really felt the need to spend any money to progress. It just takes a longer time to move from place to place and get things done. Personally, I don't like games that run on a timed system. I like to do things on my time, not theirs. Now with that being said, if you only have a few minutes to play this game, it's great. You can get some stuff done, set your character on course for the next place you want to loot, and come back in a couple hours ready to loot said place. All in all, I really liked the game, but felt that the time nonsense really killed the pace of it. I felt as though once I started to get something accomplished, I was blocked by a big ass paywall asking me to either pay for more coins or wait a few hours of travel time. Like I said, I'm really not into the waiting around, so for me, that part of the experience was a bit of a downer. Now, with the bad stuff out of the way, let's take a look at some of the good things this game has managed to do. The combat, in my opinion, was quite fun and challenging, and though the game gives you guns to use, it's probably not wise to do so until you encounter the first boss. I died quite a few times trying to beat him with just melee weapons until I finally caved and brought the 9mm along for the hunt. Along with a few different bosses, there are a bunch of random events like crashed airplanes, supply drops, and traders that have some really good gear. While you're scouring the wastelands, you'll find tons of different items to use, some natural, some man-made. The diversity of craftable items in this game was great. The different tiers of armor and weapons gave wasteland survival a great depth and always gave me something to work towards. I was constantly trying to craft stronger weapons and armor, along with trying to upgrade my base to make it as zombie-proof as possible. Speaking of your base or home or whatever you want to call it, there are a few things you can do to make it safer. You can get yourself a canine friend to help you defend your homestead from those invading creepers, or if you prefer something with a bit more of a bang, there are auto turrets that you can build and load up with ammunition to destroy any walkers that might get within their view. 
Now, keep in mind, this is the zombie apocalypse, and it would only make sense that, like in the original Resident Evil, there would be zombie animals as well. So, if a dog sounds boring and turrets sound too easy, you can always go out and get yourself a zombie moose or bear or wolf or pig or whatever you want to defend your property. For me, a dog is cool, I like him, but some people have exotic taste and would rather hang out with a zombie wolf pack. I think this game is really fun, minus that timed stuff. I would even say this game is worth money if they got rid of that timed stuff and just gave it a flat price. I would pay for it just so I didn't have to deal with that nonsense anymore. Well, that's Wasteland Survival. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember, if you want to try this game out for yourself, you can pick it up for free on Steam. There's a link in the description, or I guess you could just search Wasteland Survival on Steam and it should just pop right up. Let me know down below what you guys think of this game. Is it something that you're interested in, or does that time stuff get on your nerves as much as it does mine? Alright guys, have a great rest of your day or night, and I hope to see you in the next one. Later!